So this week on Eat Like a Local, we are going to talk one of my favorite things to eat. You can call it a klobosnik. You can call it a kolache. I just call it outstanding. We're going to hit up the stomping grounds and go to Lulu's day and night. We're going to go down to South Houston and hit up the original kolache shop. We're going to throw in a curveball. We're going to go to Hot Bagel Shop. Let's see what happens today. I'm going to start this today. The original kolache shop on Telephone Road. We've been doing this since 1956. Kevin Dowd, third generation of the original kolache shop. You've been in this your whole life. Talk to me about this. This is the birthplace of the Houston kolache scene. Grandparents opened the shop in 1956. Uh, they ran the shop for about 23 years and mom took over after them. She ran the shop for about 32 years. Uh, my brother and I grew up in here uh, making cinnamon rolls and kolaches and, and all that good stuff. And uh, in 2011, I took over the bakery. Mom passed away, but I wanted to continue carrying that torch. And uh, it's just been a labor of love. This tiny little shop on telephone. It's just people in and out and in and out and it, like your turn time here is about 36 seconds which is amazing <laughs> but there's still a line at all times absolutely from the prep table which we have an open kitchen you can see everything being made fresh by hand every day to the oven to the kolache board and out the door it goes i've seen what's happening back there yeah. and they're just rolling cutting stuff and going rolling yep. cutting stuff. <laughs> Bake. we always say there's no substitute for for quality ingredients and freshness so it's a stick to the fundamentals, uh, same recipe that we used back in 1956 for all of our traditional fare. And of course we have some, you know, additional things that we've made yeah. over the years, yeah. You know, so you went from your grandparents to your mom to you, yep. right? And at some point those things are gonna start to evolve. evolve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Even from the coffee program where, you know, your grandparents had one thing, your mom had one thing, and then you definitely changed it up. Oh, so. for sure. Well, it's a, you know, I always say we can't let our past success become our, our future limitations. You always have to build on the shoulders of giants that came before and, uh, you know, put your passion into it, put your own spin on things. So you're one of the original places that will classify things differently. Oh, for sure. Because a kolache is not just a kolache, a kolache is a kolache, right? Right. A lot of what people uh, refer to as a kolache, like the sausage variant, the traditional name for that is klobosnik. Uh, the root of that is kielbasa, which is sausage. Uh, you won't find those when you go back to the old country in the Czech Republic. A real kolache is actually a fruit-filled pastry. The origin of the word is kolo in Czech, which means circle, and it was traditionally a uh, just a ring of dough filled with poppy seed, your prunes, your apricots, you know, apples, cherries, and then your fresh berries and cream. It's topped with pasipka, which is the buttercrumb topping, uh, similar to like a streusel topping. Okay. And that's that's a traditional kolache. Those are back uh, in the old country from old country. Czech Republic. And, and then all of a sudden we came sausage. to Texas yeah. in the 1800s and people started wanting sausage. Yeah. Yeah. And so that was really the, the Czech immigrants who settled in Texas, and that's how that came to be. You know, we can give thanks to Texas for that, so it's kind of a Czech-Tex fusion. And it's funny because all the chef friends and all the people that I have come to the Houston or Texas for the first time, they're like, what is this? Yep. <laughs> the one thing I love about Houston food culture is it's such a fusion. Like our croissants here, we have beef fajita with pepper jack cheese. That's not a traditional Czech no. pastry, but it's it's borrowing things from the different cultures that we have and bringing them together and sharing it with the community. And to me, I think that's what food is about. What's next? When I took over the bakery in 2011, the one thing my mom and I didn't agree on was was coffee. Yeah. She, she thought traditional stuff was, was good enough. And for me, I thought, well, we need to vertically integrate and, and do it ourselves. So we work with farmers from all around the world. We have Zeppelin Coffee, which is our, our in-house brand. Uh, we roast coffee from you know countries all over the world, working directly with the farmers. And that's something that really pairs well with the pastries that we do. My goal was to craft coffee that was as special as the, the pastries we've been making for three generations. It's delicious. Yeah, we, uh, we have some exciting projects on the horizon that we're working on uh, another larger space. Uh, our shop's super small, 720 square feet. Yeah, it's, but it, it, I mean, <laughs> maximum output per square footage is really high. Here. For sure, yeah. yeah. We, we have to use our space efficiently because we don't have a lot of, uh, we purchased a property in uh, old downtown Pasadena. It's actually a historic building. It used to be a movie theater in 1936. Cool. And um, that's the, the new home of Zeppelin Coffee roasting that we're developing right now that's phase one phase two we're actually going to be opening up another one of these shops there that's awesome yeah all right well i want to try a couple of things cool that's what i call heaven this here is what we know as a kolache yes right this is the traditional 
this is traditionally how poppy seed yeah, is so done, right? The way that we make them is always folded on the inside, topped with butter, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of nutmeg, so you kind of have that balance of that sweet and salty. This dough feels fantastic. Uh, so traditional kolache dough, that's, that's one of the, the big secrets of it, is slightly yeasty, slightly sweet, and it has a nice springy texture to it as well. Most of the, the, the kolaches that a lot of people are familiar with, um, well, klobosnik, the sausage variant, they're not using a traditional kolache dough, it's more of a, like a donut dough. Yeah. This is fantastic. Yeasty, bubbly. Absolutely. Spring back. And then over here we have uh, like the fruit variety, so this is raspberry and cream, and you can kind of see it's just dusted with a pasipka, which is that buttercrumb topping. Come on in. Oh yeah, I have to get into it. <laughs> I mean, I came over and picked up a sack of these one day. That's just delicious. So the, the cream cheese that's on the inside, it's not gonna be too sweet, no. and uh, you're gonna have those pops of fresh fruit which add a little bit of acidity to it, and it just balances it out really nice. But the dough's not sweet either. It's not too sweet. It's not Danish, right? Because Danish no. dough is super, super, super sugary. sugary. Yep, absolutely. That's great. Now, I see this thing. Yes. <laughs> not traditional to this shop by any means. No, this, this is not part of a balanced breakfast. This no. is our applewood smoked bacon cinnamon roll with a maple glaze, and it is definitely Texas size. Yeah, that thing's huge. All right, cut, cut a little chunk of that. All right. <laughs> That's insane. It is worth I mean, this is like you got an office party or a family of five, or, you know, like, look at that. But you just have the, the, the nice crunch on the outside uh, from the caramelized sugar. You have the, the, the sweetness, the cinnamon, the crunchy bacon, so it adds that pop of saltiness. That's decadent, <laughs> but awesome. Man, that's really good. I mean, but traditionally, like something like this, you would think it'd be too over the top, but it's not salty. It's got that nice, I think the maple part of it. It goes back to the dough. Well, our, uh, our cinnamon rolls, uh, we actually make them with our traditional kolache dough as well. So you still have those nice yeasty notes. Uh, it's nice and springy, fluffy. <laughs> this buttery goodness. That's yeah, really good. Now this is the klobosnik. Klobosnik. Uh, yeah. So this one here is gonna be uh, sausage cheese, jalapeno, traditional smoked uh, sausage on the inside. A big link in there, so not gonna be skimpy. That looks perfect. When you bite into a, a klobosnik, uh, it should be just, uh, you know, not a big uh, open void inside with a little sausage on the inside. It should be full, it should be decadent. This is outstanding. Outstanding. Awesome. I stop everywhere trying to find the perfect one of these. Yep. Is that it right there? It is. There we go. I found it. The sign, the history, everything about it. Telephone Road, where you go. <laughs> 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 You're delicious. But there's also something very unique that you do here too. The yeah. croissant. Yes. Not like traditional French style rolled croissant. A lot of people refer to them as kind of like that hot pocket style. Heck yeah. Yeah. We do a lot of different varieties of those. That's not something that we made back in the day. I actually started making those in 2011 when I took over the shop. This is your grandparents. Yep. And your mother. And now this is all. You know, this is you. Absolutely. You know what? <laughs> It's, a, it's, it's pretty good too. Break this down for me. So over here we have our ham and cheese with bacon. We have our roast beef bacon and cheese with and without jalapeno, pastrami bacon and cheese, our beef fajita with pepper jack. Uh, down on the end we have our barbecue brisket with bacon smoked gouda. And then on this end we have our pulled pork with truffle goat cheese. And it's all wrapped in that flaky phyllo dough that we make in house. You make all the dough too here. Oh yeah, everything's from scratch. That's really delicious. You want it to be decadent. You want it to be full, and um, you know that's that's really what we focus on. You think? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's kind of like walking into Mama's kitchen, you know. And, and this was my Mama's kitchen, so. That's sentimental right there. I like that. There it is. Boy, come on. Yeah. This was the beef fajita with pepper jack was one of those things. And you know what? I'm not gonna argue with that. Who needs a breakfast taco? <laughs> no, I had this. I'm alright. <laughs> Understanding the history, evolving your history, proving your future. Absolutely. Really beautiful. I actually think I need all that, but I did. <laughs> that was hard to put down. <laughs> Some of the best I've ever had. God dog it. So what to order at the original kolache shop? Get that clove of snake. Fantastic. Now we get into the kolache market. You just pick a flavor. The dough is perfect. The filling is perfect. All right, now get down to the croissants. Get the fajita, the beef or chicken, pepper jack cheese, jalapenos. That's what I'm talking about. If you're feeling really adventurous, Get that cinnamon roll. Don't forget some of that Zeppelin coffee. All right, up next, we're going to head over to Lulu's. Go see my boys from the Blood Brother crew.
We're at Lulu's day and night, right up on 34th. Ella's right over here, Shepard's right over here. These are the guys from Blood Brothers. Opened a bakery, sandwich shop, bar. It's got everything. Cause I love what these guys do. They do good stuff. All right, talk to me about this place, man. The original concept was supposed to be like walk in bodega style, grab a loaf of bread, grab a sandwich, hit the road. Uh, kind of morphed into uh, something a lot bigger. You know, we got a full bar, come down, grab some exciting sandwiches. We don't have basic sandwiches here, but we always put a fun twist on it. Well, yeah, but like that smoked fried bologna thing with the yeah. fried onions, yeah. come on. You have a, a, what, a Philly cheesesteak shawarma, or a chopped cheese shawarma? Yeah. I'm gonna crush it. Yeah, and it's so good. So today, this is pretty exciting. I get to see the difference of a Kobasnik and a Kolachi. As much as we talk about Kolachis and Klobasnikis, we get to see a different version of it. Today, you know, it's the Blood Brothers brisket, yeah, yeah. cheese, and barbecue sauce. What you're doing with this is pretty amazing. Before we start, Adam, can we talk about the dough? Yeah. This is special, but to me, it is one of the most special kolache, klobosnik, doughs, whatever you want to call it, that I've had. So what makes ours really special, I think, is the brisket is fantastic, right? And so sort of building around that, the dough itself is really rich. We use sour cream, butter, milk, a few other things to kind of give it a, a really complimentary texture to the brisket. Same with the cheese. You know, we've got some cheese in there, but not too much. Yeah, it's so not it's, cheesy cheese. It's not cheesy cheese. It's just more of a, uh, you know, adds that creamy element without taking away from any of the taste. Throw a little bit of pepper in there, a couple barbecue sauces, two of y'all's, yeah. right? Yeah. The SWAT sauce and our classic 34 sauce. Yeah. So, uh, Arash, you kind of oversee a lot of the things here and, and, and the Blood Brothers. I mean, because you guys will also use the sauces that you're making too, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah we yeah. will make um, his wonky sausage of the week. Sometimes we'll bring it over here. We've done mac and cheese kolaches, pulled pork, obviously the 44 Farms brisket. Whatever Quee wants to make, we can make something with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. All right, let's see it. This is the beginning of the Kloba Snicky, and then here is the traditional kolache. It's the same base dough. Uh, the difference is, though, this is going to be sweet, right? So we'll have a cream cheese base and then some sort of jam or fruit mixture on top. So how do you rock this up? Right, this is going to be pretty straightforward. We've got a cream cheese mixture here. It's got cream cheese, egg, sugar, and a little bit of uh, vanilla bean you can see in there. Yeah, all the goods. Yeah, all the goods. So we're going to put a little portion here. For so moment. not too, too much. No, the star here is the dough and the jam. Yeah. Right, the, the jam is really special. We use as many fresh fruits, high quality as we can. The rhubarb here is super special. Arash actually got us some really high quality rhubarb, um, which you don't really see too much around here. Too much cream cheese can kind of take away from it. See, that. this is why I don't bake, because I put three times the amount on that. <laughs> and I go all the way to the edge, yeah, half so an inch deep. <laughs> and then to talk about rhubarb, I mean, what, we don't see a lot of it in the South. Super acidic and bright in flavor and traditionally needs to be paired with a different fruit. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. strawberry and blackberry here. So I'll put a little bit on here. And you know, all of this is house made, right? The jam, the dough, the cream cheese filling, all of it. And then over here, we've got the berry jam. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, <laughs> right? And so from here, right, we're gonna reproof this for a little bit and then um, we'll egg wash it before it goes in the oven. All right, and this one's gonna be a lot more simple. So the filling is already made. So all we're gonna do here, we're gonna flatten out one of these portions of dough, right? And the key here, is to leave a bit of a bump in the center because it's going to be upside down. Again, reason why yeah. I'm not a pastry person yeah, yeah. because I would just roll it out like a pizza and it would be fat on the corners and thin in the middle. Well, we only know this is the way because we did that already. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you're going to put that right kind of on the lump in the center and all you're going to do is bring the dough around it and then just kind of pinch. And so what we're doing here is we're creating the right thickness of the dough so that there's no bubble in between the bread and the filling. It's just bread, filling, bread. And to me, it's balance. Yeah. Right? When you open up that bread, that dough, and there's a little tiny <laughs> nothing, yeah. you bamboozled me. Yeah, it's, uh, we don't do that. It's almost entirely just brisket. It's, it's, it's brisket, a yeah. That's a $5 sandwich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and quite frankly, when you're looking at these, this dish specifically, this is something that you can stop by at like 11, 11, 30, 12 o'clock, have it warmed up, get about three or four of them, Take one to your friend, eat three in the car on the way there, I guess. <laughs> or so it looks like you only ordered two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so that ratio of filling to dough is perfect. The cheese, like you said, is just there for creaminess. Mm -hmm. Sauce is there just to give it a little umptuous. Yeah, yeah. But it's brisket. It's like a little mini brisket sandwich right there. Mm hmm Breakfast, lunch, pull it out of the refrigerator like midnight. Mm -hmm. 
I've said it before, I'll keep saying it. That dough is perfect. Thank you. You knew this was gonna be good, but this, <laughs> it's so good. Boy's doing it right. You see one of them cookies? Yeah, 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 right here. I'm gonna talk about this cookie for a minute. <laughs> And you got salt in these. Yeah, there's uh, sea salt on top. And what, what our approach is, is, is we want a butter forward cookie. Yeah. Not butter, buttery and rich. Crispy on the edges, soft and awesome in the center. Butter forward. Butter forward, lots of butter. <laughs> salt. I'm picking up a dozen of these today. I'm just gonna give them away. I think everybody needs to know about this. That's perfect. Thank you, I appreciate that. Dough, 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 dough. Yeah. All the doughs, when the, it's dough time, it's go time. All right, so the thing about Lulu's day and night, it makes it so fantastic, right? You can come here in the morning, you can come here in the day, you can come here at the night. Full bar, when you think of Klobosniks, kolaches and things like that, yeah. This is one of the better variations of that, right? The dough is fantastic, but like, I can come in and get a pretzel, they make them here. This is a take on spinach artichoke dip from Arash, which is kind of more of a sag paneer but with artichoke. And then here's a little uh, smoked bologna with crispy onions, pimento cheese, pickles, and then, you know, just a little road snack, just your traditional Spam basubi, but they make the Spam at Blood Brothers, so. Mm. Rice, homemade Spam, nori, perfect. Let's look at this. Their house pretzel tossed in like a little garlic butter, cheese, and it's perfect texture. That's one of the best pretzels in this city. And then, you know, you want to get a little snack going? Look at that. So everything you want to love about spinach artichoke dip, different flavor profiles. So sag paneer, traditional Indian dish. That's special. And then this, they have some of the coolest sandwiches out there right now. This is a fried smoked bologna. They got a chicharron crusted chicken, fried chicken sandwich. And look at that. I mean, that's perfect, like, come on. Everything I want is like a kid, and as an adult, I'm a bologna super freak. And then you got the fried onion, come on. I have every text you want. So think about it like this. Go for the kolaches, the smoked brisket, klobosniks, get a dozen pretzels to go, have a sandwich and some paneer. Also saw the cookies sitting around too. Well, come on. Lulu's Day and Night. What's the order of Lulu's Day and Night? Come in, get the kielbasa, the brisket, get the kolaches, get the cookies. And when you have good cooks, you can just look at the menu and fire away. Get one of everything. All right, up next, we're gonna head over to Hot Bagel Shop. Is it technically a kielbasnik? Who cares? I call it good. I like good. Hot Bagel Shop. Technically, I don't know if you can call this a klobosnik or a kolache or whatever. I don't care. It's delicious and it's one of these things that makes me really happy. People say, well, we don't have the water, we don't have all of this in Houston for great bagels. I'm gonna prove you wrong right here. There's some really good bagel movement that's happening in the city right now, but Hot Bagel Shop has always been the standard. I'm just gonna show you what I'm talking about, why I love this place so much. Let's check it out. This is what makes me really happy, right here. <laughs> Put it in this pretty box. I consider this just to be a plate. Gotta know the architecture of the box, which is easy. You just rip it open. All right, so this is the, the Slovak's jalapeno sausage. Like that is, that's perfect, right? And then this is the bacon egg. Ready? It's everything you want, scrambled eggs, bacon, cheese, inside of bagel dough. And then this is arguably one of my favorites. It's basically just, in a way, a hot dog, but you've got all this dry and, or, or this like roasted jalapeno on the outside. And then look, oh, come on. What doesn't say happy about that, right? You got cheese, you got bagel, you got hot dog and jalapeno. And so good. Is this traditional? No. Is it like one of the best things ever? Yes. Look at that. I mean, you want to talk about a road snack? The bagel is perfect. Got the chew, the texture. Perfect. Now look at this. Sausage or bacon. 
there's a reason why this place is one of the best ever. I mean, we order this for the house constantly. Friends are coming over, order it. You just don't get that everywhere. And it's just the perfect bite. Now, come for the bagels. Get this style of klobosnik, kolachi, whatever you want to call it. But uh, this is one thing I've never tried. It, it is a bagel pizza. Meaty, cheesy, bagely. Is it what I grew up with? No. I mean, I grew up with a little bagel bite thing. You know, pop them in the oven. Does it bring back all those memories and evoke that happiness of a child? Yeah, that's really good. I like that. I love this. But that, that bite right there is hard to argue. I love the handhelds. The little Smokies. We gotta get here early. Cause they are little hammers of happy. Just doo -doo 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 -doo. Meat encased in dough. Pizza and dough. Yummy. Yummy. What's the order when you're at Hot Bagel Shop? Mini dogs, 100%. Get them by the dozen. The uh, jalapeno cheese dog, fantastic. The jalapeno sausage, but also don't sleep on what they call the kolache, uh, scrambled egg, bacon, cheese wrapped inside a bagel. Also, just get yourself a dozen bagels and maybe a bagel pizza. You'll make friends. So good. That's so good. Where to get other kolaches? Here you go. Mrs. Donuts over off of Memorial, Eldridge, and Derry Ashford. And hit up Christie's right in Montrose. And pick your location of the kolache shop. Don't be confused with the original kolache shop. Both are delicious. We talked about babasniks. We talked about kolaches, bagel dogs. Really happy with this. It's one of my favorite little meals, snacks, road foods. What's next, huh? Klobasnik. Klobasnik, yeah. Klobas. Klobasnik. And a Klobasnik. 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 Is it C K O L B? Yeah, Klobasnik. Klob. Klobasnik. Klobasnik. Klob. Klob. Whatever you want to call it, man. Klobasnik. It's a Klobasnik. Yeah, yeah.